Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm participating in a collaboration with some fabulous gals. We have Dawn from Shabby Meets Bling, Monica from Up All Night DIY, Tracy Van Over, Susie from Susie on the Farm, and Shelly from Repurpose My Way. And we are doing Last Thing Thrifted. So let's see what I found at the thrift store. My first project is this frame. I like it the way it is. Look at this. This was $11.99. I got it for $1.99. That is a fabulous deal. I love the way it looks already, but I'm going to embellish it some with some molds. All my projects today, I'm going to be using my silicone molds and my foam clay. And I like to use this Crayola Model Magic. Now let's go ahead and get a few of these molds done. So I'm going to be doing this one right here, but I'm going to not do the little curly cues on the side or the bottom. I'm just going to do this section right there. Let's go ahead and get it pressed in. All right. And pull it out. So I need to make four of these, and these are going to go like this and hang over the rim just a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and get the next pieces done. And I'm going to be doing four of those also. It's kind of difficult to work with these little tiny ones, so I just like to put little, little pieces in at a time. They are so skinny in some of the spots. just a little bit more flip that over and pop it out there we go and I'll probably have to do a little bit of trimming on some of these and these are going to go in between so it's going to be looking just like this all right now that I have them all done they're dry glued on I'm going to go ahead and paint this black I'm going to try something different than I normally do just going to get this whole frame painted up I might have to do two coats and when it's dry I'm going to do a dry brush technique on it. All right so here it is all dry. I am just going to take some white paint and I'm going to brush it on. Just do a dry brush technique here. And I don't know if I'm liking this. Um, I mean, I like it, but I think it looks more something for Halloween here. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to paint this white. Yeah. Okay. I painted it white. Took a few coats, but got it painted white. I'm gonna take my hippo gray, and it's just uh, watered down just a little bit. I'm going to brush it on and I'm taking a damp piece of paper towel and wiping it off. And I'm going to be doing this over the whole frame. I think this looks a lot better this way for me to do shabby chic. I thought before if I put a little bit more of the white over the black it would look good, but I, I did that off camera and it just still didn't look good. But this is turning out much better. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this finished up, and then we'll be on the next step. Now that it's all done, I pulled everything out, and look, it has two pieces of glass, so you could actually do like some pressed flowers in between. But I'm going to use one of these IOD uh, transfers, and I have this scrapbook paper that I printed out a long time ago with the stripes. And I'm just going to line this up. I like how they have the, the lines on here. I can line it perfectly here with one of the stripes. It's just not lining up correctly. Let's try it one more time. All right, there we go. And I'm going to take my little tool here and start rubbing. And I know some of this will get cut off 
with some of the lettering, but that's okay. The roses will fit in there, so this will be really pretty. Let's just kind of test it here. Yeah, it looks like it's doing pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to speed this up and we're going to get this done. You can see it's starting to come off a little bit more. This is going really quickly. And we're almost done. For some reason, this little rose doesn't want to come off. <laughs> All right, there we go. Look how pretty that is. Now I'm just going to place my glass on here, even it up the best I can. And I'm going to just trace around here once I get this placed where I want it. All right, just going to take my pencil here, go around, and I am going to be missing a little bit of the lettering at the bottom, but that's okay. I'm going to take my scissors and cut it out. And here everything is ready to go back in. I'm going to just go ahead and put one piece of glass in, my paper in, the other glass, and I had a little piece of styrofoam there. Let's get this all put back together. All right, see how pretty that is? Now you could leave it just like this, but no, I'm going to do one more thing to it around this edge here. Now I thought about doing some lace there but it, it's just too much so I'm gonna put my pearl beads here and I have to do this in pieces because the molding kind of hangs over a little bit but that's okay I think it looks pretty this way And the last piece. And you know what? I think I want to go and add some around the outer edge too. Now it's all done. Isn't this pretty? I like it with the outer edge also. Very, very simple to do and it just dresses up a plain looking frame. I've done many of these frames like this. I could also put some little pearls there but I don't think I will. All right, my next project, this is from a canister set. Uh, this is the next to the smallest. I got this from the thrift store and it's a set of four and I think it was half off. So I already took the tags off of everything. I think I got everything for $4, that was crazy. I am just gonna be spray painting this with the linen white. I'm gonna spray paint the whole thing. I wanna cover up those flowers. Now that that is all done, I'm gonna be using my clay and I wanna bump up this uh, pole on the lid, it's just too short. I'm going to take some clay, and that is a wooden bead, and that is just a button. Just going to stick that down there, because I'm going to take some pearls like this and glue that on later. And I'm also going to have to be using a little bit of clay in between the wooden ball and the pole there. Now I have my wooden base here around and I thought I would just glue it with the E6000. I have a few of these and I think this dresses it up a lot more. And I will be painting that. I'm going to be painting it uh, with some uh, paint called Wicker White. Kind of matches this. Now I got to make some moldings. Yeah, everything's going to have moldings. All my projects, we're going to be doing moldings today. So I want to dress up this lid. It's really plain. And of course the best way is with some moldings. So I'm going to use this one here, but not the very bottom because it's too long. I'm just going to use this top part. Let's go and get this last piece in. pull it out. See it fits perfect and looks like I'll be doing about five of these. So here they are all done. This is the lid. I think it looks really pretty. Of course I'm not done with the lid yet but check it out. 
I'm going to be putting some moldings on the base and I'm also going to do a little bit of decoupaging here where the flowers were because you can still kind of see where it was. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some moldings made. I went ahead and made these. They are just from this section here but I didn't do the little curly cue at the bottom. And I want to do these upper two. Let's go ahead and get these made really quick. And now let's get the second one done. Okay, let's pop them out. And I think I'm going to place them like this. We'll put these on the side. Okay. Now I want to do some decoupage. I have these really pretty napkins that I just recently got from Amazon. They are gorgeous. And I just need a little section of it. And I want to place that over where the other flowers were, but not this whole piece, of course. So let me go ahead and get this cut. I'm going to pull the other ply off. I'm going to save the other one because I can use that to print on down the road. And I'm just going to cut one of the squares here. Like I said, I only need a little piece for here. I'm not doing the whole jar. Set that there. Painter's tape comes in handy. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to be tearing this. All right, and guess what? I changed my mind on that. Yeah, I did the other one. I didn't like that after I laid it all together. So I'm going to Mod Podge on this section of the napkin. Let's get it started here. And I'm going to put some Mod Podge over the top. get this all pressed on and it's kind of making little wrinkles at the bottom but that's okay that's no big deal all right so I'm also going to be gluing on the moldings and we'll be ready for the next step Alright, I have everything on here. It's dry. I did put some down at the bottom of the base. I'm using some rose cloud here and I'm just going to dry brush on the color because this is too much white. I am not going to be just, you know, coloring any more of the jar. I want to leave it the white, but I want the moldings to pop out. So I'm going to dry brush all the moldings on here with the rose cloud. I think it's a real pretty color and it does match one of the roses that is in the napkin. See, it looks really pretty like that. Let's go ahead and get the rest of the moldings done real quick. I thought about using more of the darker rose color in there, but I think that would be too much. I kind of like this lighter color better. Now let's get the base done. Just a little bit more on here. All right, now I need to embellish it. So what I'm doing is I already put those pearls up there like I showed earlier and I'm going to glue some to the very bottom here like so. 
There we go. And I want to do some at the top. It needs something else at the top. I think lace would be a little too much, but I think the pearls will be perfect. Let's go ahead and get these glued on. Okay, that did not want to stick. Let's try it again. All right. I did go ahead and add some more pearls on the lid. And I have this little package of beads and things that I got at Walmart a while back. And it has this little plastic rose on here. Or I think it's resin, maybe. And it's like the perfect color and the size. We're going to glue it on top of the button. There we go. That is so pretty. You know, this is look really pretty like in your bathroom or on a dresser. Very beautiful. But of course, I'm not done just yet. Got to put something else up here. Yeah, I'm going to take some ribbon. I just happen to have some ribbon that kind of matches that color. And I have this lace. And I'm just going to cut it in half here real quick. Get it all done. And we're going to tie this on the, the part of there, right there. I, I had painted that because I thought it looked kind of pretty. You can still kind of see it through everything. So we're just going to tie this on here. And I think I might want to put some pearls on here too. Tying might not work though. All right. Let me just go ahead and get this tied one more time. And I'm probably going to have to hot glue the pearls on. And I did take a key that I have here because my, and the napkin has a little heart with a lock on it. So I think that looks perfect. I just tied it to one of my ribbon pieces and I'm going to hot glue two strands of the pearl beads. Make sure that sticks. It's not sticking for me. And we'll get that back in there. And put the lid on. And let's check it out. I think this is so pretty. And my next project here, I found this dress form for $2.99. I couldn't believe it. It opens up. This is so cute. It's like a little birdcage one. Looks like it's missing something here, but otherwise it looks great. But, you know, I'm adding some moldings here. I'm going to do some flowers that are on this one. I have the two different size flowers. And I'm going to add them with the roses in there. Plus, later on, I'll be adding some silk roses, too. Let's go ahead and get the big flower done here. And get another ball for the small flower. A little bit too much. All right. pop the other one out. So I want to put them just like this, I think. I also want to add a little bit more, and I kind of like this part here. It's got some leaves and berries. I just want to do the very top. I don't want to do the whole thing. Just a little piece of it. So let's go ahead and get the clay in here. I think about right to there is all I need. And just a little bit more. Let's pop that out. See, that kind of kind of nice. I think that will look really pretty there. And I'm going to do the opposite one over here too to go to the other side. All right, so while those are drying, I am just taking some black paint and I'm just dist distressing this up just a little bit. I'm not going to touch the flowers or the leaves on there because I'm going to be painting those. But I just think it would look kind of cute to have this distress just a bit. So instead of me sanding, I just thought this would be so much easier just to take my paintbrush and make a few lines here and there. All right, now that that is done, 
I did make this little picture frame here from this molding. And here's the flowers and the leaves with the berries. So these are all ready to be glued on. Just gonna use some hot glue. So let's tack this one down here. And put that one about right there. Okay. Needs just a little bit more glue. And let's see. I think I want to put this one over here. Make sure I get plenty of glue on there. A little bit more underneath that end. Okay. And this one will go about right there, I think. A little bit more. Perfect. And of course the picture frame is going to go here, but I got to work on that first before I glue that one down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little piece of that napkin that I used earlier. I'm going to put some Mod Podge on the middle of the frame here. Just try to put as much as I can. I'm going to kind of put that where you have that little part lock again. I kind of like that. I'm going to press down. Make sure I can get in here. I can see where the creases are because I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'll be cutting this once it dries a little bit. All right, so I have it done. Just like I said, I took my X-Acto knife there and cut very carefully. <laughs> and it's going to go here, but of course, you know what? I don't like the frame being white. Like I said, everything up there is going to get painted, all the flowers and everything. So I think the frame needs to be painted too. So I'm taking some forest green here, and I'm going to have it just a, a little bit watered down, not much. Just to make sure that my paintbrush has some water on it. I'm also going to be taking berry red and going in that little uh, rim in there, and also some of the rose cloud. So let's do the forest green first. I still want some of the white to show through, so I'm just lightly putting this on. And I'm loving this color already. I was trying to kind of coordinate with the leaf that's in there. Okay, now that's done, I need to do the leaves on the molding and these metal leaves too. Just can use that same color. I'm just going to lightly put it here on the metal leaves. You can see that they do have some detail to them. Just bringing out the detail of them. All right, now that that is done, I'm taking that berry red and I'm going to be doing my outline here. And I'm also taking the rose cloud color that I have. And I'm going to be putting that on over the berry red while it's still wet. Just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. There, that looks a lot better. A little bit more. And 
now I need to work on the flowers on the dress form. So before I do the flowers, I'm going to go ahead and paint the berries. I'm using that berry red on here. And I'm taking that rose cloud again and going over it just for some highlights. All right, I've gone ahead and done some of the flowers. I used my Berry Red, Rose Cloud, an Indiana Rose, and Antique Rose. And I've just kind of gone through the different colors there. We are going to go ahead and get this last flower painted. And I've just done a mix with all four of the colors basically on all the flowers just to, to make them look a little bit different. And I'm going on the inside here with the antique rose just to darken this one up a little bit. And some of that berry red too. And you mainly just kind of have to keep playing with it. And I've also added a little bit of white in here just to brighten it up a little bit. All right, now that everything is done, I need to go ahead and put something in the middle there of that rose because something's missing, but I have a nice big pearl here to put in there. And you can see I have all these little silk flowers that I want to put in. Just going to hot glue them here and there. I have a cream colored one and then I have the, the lighter pink. Just trying to figure out where to put all these. And I have these little pieces here. Yeah, I think that, that's just a little too big. A little, yeah, I made it way too big. Let's just cut them off and use the little pieces individually. Just kind of stick them here and there. Let's cut a few more off. And a few more. If I think about right there. All right, so I've got all those in and I also use those little tool with the pearl in it that I got from that His and Hers collection at uh, Hobby Lobby. I put two in there already and I want to put a third one over here on the end. I think this looks so pretty. Now I've got to get this picture frame on here too. I'm going to hot glue this on about right here. Just going to make sure I have lots of glue. Press down, tack it on just a little bit more. What I like about the foam clay is that it's bendable. Since the dress form is rounded, it's easy to work with it that way. All right, I could leave it just like this, but I'm going to add a little bit more detail to it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this piece of lace here and I'm going to cut it into strips and I'm going to be tying it onto the dress form. All right, I have all my strips cut. I'm just going to loop them through here and pull the two ends through the loop. And I'm going to do just three pieces on each side here of the frame and it will get each section will get two of the lace in it. And these are a little long. I will be cutting them off later. Kind of play with that a little bit. Let's go ahead and do some on the other side. All 
All right, I also added some cream colored ribbon and some pearls too, and I cut everything here. Let's cut a few more pieces. Make sure everything isn't too long. I'm also going to cut these up just to make it look like there's more here. So each of my strips I'm going to cut in half. And I left the back side open because of the cage part. I, of course, I also added a little key here because we got the lock. I thought that would be really cute. And again, I'm, I left the back open in case I ever wanted to put anything in there. <laughs> All right, on to the next project. So this picture here was just like so super cheap. You know, it looks like somebody had it as a display. It's really nice. It's in good condition, except for it has a little crack here. It's cracked. Yeah. So this is a perfect candidate for a makeover. So again, I'm going to be doing some moldings right here and on the bottom for sure. we got to dress that bottom up. So here's all the moldings that I have to choose from. I'm just trying to decide. I don't know if I like that one or not, or if I like that one, or another one. I don't know. I'm going to have to kind of look this over and kind of figure out. I'm kind of leaning towards this one, but you know what? I decided this one instead. <laughs> There's so many to choose from. So I went ahead and made one right now. I got two of them, and I just kind of attached it together on there. I'm just going to glue it with the E6000. I'm going to do it while it is wet. It's still damp. On a rounded surface, it's much easier to do that. And I'm going to make some of these here to go on the bottom. So I go ahead and get this one done. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I think that will be perfect. Yeah, fits perfectly. All right, so I'll make up a bunch of those. I have all those glued on, and now I'm going to be making this section here. And it fits perfect right underneath this curve. So I have all of this done now. This middle piece right here is actually two pieces that I used. I used this piece right here and this piece. Now all I need to do is paint it. I think I'm just going to use some chalk paint, my Waverly in the plaster color, and I'm going to paint a little bit on the inside, not all the way down. All right, so here it is all painted. Looks pretty this way, but we got to bring out those details. We've got to use that hippo gray. And I'm just going to brush it on and start with the molding here. Kind of pull that down, wipe a little bit off. So it's basically, you know, this is watered down, the paint. Just going to brush it on, wipe it. You can even do, sometimes I do tapping on here. Just needs a little bit more in that section. There we go. And just kind of show you the bottom here how it's going to look. All right, I'm going to get this all finished up and then we're going to put some embellishments on it. So here's how it turned out. It looks great the way it is, but I'm going to just Add some pearls. I gotta add some pearls. Pearls and lace. I gotta do a little more shabby chic to it. So I'm gonna do a band of pearls on the bottom here and on the top. Let's go ahead and get some glue here and do the next row. That looks real pretty. And I'm also going to do the pearls down here. 
Now, of course, like I said, I need some more stuff. I don't know if I want to do anything to the handle, but I do want to add some lace on here. So I have my two pieces of lace I cut out. I'm going to hot glue this one here and the one down there. So down below, what I'm doing is just going to tack it here. And since it's a little bit thicker, if I pull on it and stretch it, it gets a little thinner and it fits perfectly over that little ridge. Just going to tack it at the back. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here for the top one. And this one I will tack in more places than I did on the bottom. And let's get this finished off. Now this is all I'm going to do to this one. I think this is perfect. You know, you can just put some flowers in here, some greenery, or leave it the way it is. Now my last project is this bottle here. Now you may have bottles like this on hand. I actually found this at the thrift store. I got it for 50 cents. I'm going to take my painter's tape and block off a section here. I want to keep that clear. And I'm just going to take my Waverly plaster colored chalk paint and paint the bottle up. It's probably going to take about three coats, I think. Now this bottle is going to get lots of moldings on it, little tiny ones mainly. But let me go ahead and get this painted up. And once everything is dry, I will pull off the tape. While I'm waiting for everything to dry, I'm going to make some moldings here. These are my bigger moldings that I'm not going to use around the clear part that I'm keeping on the bottle, but on the top part. Now, like I said, you could probably find bottles like this anywhere, even, you know, things that from the grocery store. It almost looks like something like some syrup would have been in or something. You can even use this on plastic bottles. It's a good way to uh, recycle your old bottles and cans, too, you know, by putting embellishments on them. From the moldings. Now I'm going to be making some of these little, they look like little leaves. And I'm probably going to end up making probably four of these. All right, so let's go ahead and get these popped out. See, these are really cute. And I'm gonna use this one here. This is the last of the bigger pieces that I'm gonna be using on the top part of the bottle. Make sure I get all the clay in there, those little spots. All those little teeny tiny pieces you got to get in there. Okay. Let's get that one out. All right, there we go. Now I have those other pieces on here, and I made a whole bunch of little tiny pieces you can see here off of other moldings. And I'm just going to glue these on around the whole thing. It's going to probably take a little bit of time. I don't know how the pattern I want to do yet. Just gonna, I don't know, stick them on however I feel. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and glue this little piece on. And here's another. Let's see. You can cut the, make sure you get a lot of glue. It's kind of hard to get them to stick in the beginning for some reason, I guess because of the roundness of the bottle. Let's try to get this one over here. Oops. Yeah, they do kind of slide around, but it's they stick better on the painted part than the non-painted part. I'm going to use that one right there. Like I said, it's probably going to take me a while to do this because I want to just do a piece by piece and just kind of figure out the pattern that I want to do. 
I need to do all around the rest of this. All right, so here it's done. All nice and dry. I even painted it again. I'm going to take that hippo gray and do that same technique, but I'm just going to use uh, this little piece of paper towel here to rub it on. And you got to be very, very careful with these little pieces because they do like to break off if you push too hard on it. Just put a little bit more right there. And I mainly just want it on the, the moldings and not as much on the bottle, the gray color. So I'm going to get this finished up and show you how it looks. All right, so here's how it turned out. I think this is gorgeous. I love this. I have a little key here. I had to paint it this color because it's that uh, bronzy color. Just have a little piece of jute that I'm tying it to the bottle. I thought this would look cute to have a little key hanging down. Let's see if I can get this tied correctly. Let me see. Uh, I think that's up too high. Let me kind of loosen this a little bit. I want it to hang down just a little bit longer. And you can see that I have some lace over there that's going around the bottle also. There, that's better. Let's tie this again. All right. One more knot. And I'm going to cut off the ends. Now I want to put some lace on here. I think I'm going to, let me see. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm going to tie them on separately, one at a time. Let's just go ahead and put this one on, and the second one on. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and cut them up the middle. And you know, one thing that is missing from this bottle is a stopper. So I am going to be making a stopper for this bottle that I think will look perfect for it. Okay, here's how it looks, and here is my stopper. It is just a piece of another cork stopper that I had to cut down shorter, and this is just a cabinet pole, and I just glued it with E6000. That's all it is, and I think it's perfect. I can't believe that this fits so perfect for this bottle. I think this is gorgeous. This is my favorite one of the projects here today. Now let's take a look at all of them. And I like how this bottle coordinates with my birdhouse. We're in my shabby chic room here, and I love to keep my birdhouse here on the dresser and style it with all of my projects. Alright my sweet friends, that's going to do it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it and I could give you some ideas how to take ordinary items and make them extraordinary items just by using some clay and some moldings. Now be sure to check out everybody's videos. I have the playlist link down below. 
in my description box along with everybody's channel links. I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.